Hello, it's Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about a Tempo email application and uh, the reasons why I like it and why it may or may not be a good fit for you. Here is a Tempo application website and as you can see even on the website it has amazingly clean interface. There are no distractions and um, it's similar for the application and this is one of the reasons I really like this application. So let's dive in into the application. So when you uh, log into Tempo and set up all your uh, email accounts, um, you will get into your inbox. At the moment, uh, Tempo is only uh, using Gmail accounts. It cannot do Exchange of Microsoft or any other email um, accounts. So that's one um, uh, probably a drawback for quite a lot of doctors um, who mostly have exchange accounts. Uh, but as you can see, it's very clean application. There is nothing to uh, distract you and uh, your inbox is sorted into a priority email or other email. And if you got, wanna have a look at more um, preferences, you go into the preference panel. So general here, you can see what you can basically uh, do and also what alternative actions there are. Um, as I said, it's only Gmail accounts that you can set through this. Um, here are the preferences for your inbox. And if you put it in a classic, you get in the inbox all of your emails. But uh, if you if don't, uh, they will split it into your priority emails or VIP emails, or in the beginning, it will um, sort it out for themselves versus the others. Uh, preferentially, it has scheduled notifications, so you cannot always get the notifications. Uh, and you can have different short uh, signatures, or th there are quite a lot of shortcuts to make your workflow a bit faster. Anyway, let's uh, dive into the inbox. So if you want to sort it out, you have a few options here. I would like to see an option of archive here as well, um, but you can archive them at the end. Uh, so in this one, I can either double check, yes, I need to do something uh, for this email. I can see it through here or I can open the email and uh, uh, sort it out from here. So I can either put it in my to-do pile, in the snooze pile, delete, or if you push option key, you will get archive or reply all or archive or priority uh, um, options. Um, if you see it from here and you know what you're going to do, I just push it from here. This one, uh, it's uh, not a priority um, and I wanna um, um, archive all priorities. So um, I know I don't need to do anything for this email and I can actually directly from here unsubscribe. I like the option of unsubscribing from as newsletters directly from my uh, email application. This way I don't get distracted at all by going onto the internet. Um, I don't need to do anything. Uh, I don't need to snooze this email and I can just delete it. To do, delete, do I want to know about it? No, delete, to do, to do, uh, to do, delete, to do, to do, and my inbox has gone to zero. So now when I have time that I want to do something with an email, what I go is just go back and it's, you will come into your to do item. So these are the, all the emails that you have to do something about it. Um, uh, the emails that are snoozed are here, or if you want to put a reminder onto the email. So if we open this email, let's say we reply to this email, um, we can actually here put a reminder and here I mark uh, Heather as a VIP. 
so I can um, uh, I can do it from here send and if I automatically reply I can archive this email so it goes out of my to-do list or I can put in uh, if I've written something for example now I can choose the option of send and keep if I need to do something but it's actually better to get used to sending archiving and pushing a remind uh, me earlier uh, before you do that because uh, um, uh, you need to um, chase that this has been done if you need to do that um, and if you want to go into even more distraction free focus mode you push this button here it's email and your reply so those are the only two options there is nothing else and I really enjoy it you can go um, to skip your emails that you've sorted or sorted out, uh, that you need to do if you're not used to writing in the markdown this is a markdown writing just push it into the preview interestingly you cannot write in a preview you can only write in a markdown if you want to add attachment you can do that here um, one bugbear I have is if you have attachments within the email chain you can only forward them from the original email email uh, I'm going to talk to them to uh, look at fixing these two options and when you forward something the attachments are automatically uh, in within the email chain rather than not a uh, few email applications are a bit like this uh, as I said your snooze are here reminders are here and all our archived emails are in here there are no um, uh, uh, folders or anything like that within this email application and in some ways you don't want it to because you want to deal with this the quickest way possible um, rather than having folders and just have everything in the archive that you can search through from here here are the pricing options for Tempo. Um, there are two plans, a monthly plan of $15 a month or a yearly plan of $150 a month. Is this uh, worth it for this application? It depends how well you are going to use it. If you're one of the people who expects uh, email applications to be free, um, then this is not for you. If you do not want to save uh, minutes or hours or more a month on emails this is not worth it for you either but if you can save yourself distractions of your email inbox uh, and this is going to save you time which for you time is money either via the monetary value or as ours doctors sometimes for the rest value or for spending time with the family then it may be worth it this application is going to continue to be free as long as it's in beta testing when it goes onto the mobile application it is uh, not going to be free anymore in conclusion I really enjoy Tempo interface it's very clean it's uh, um, it's very easy to use and it's completely and utterly distraction free and it's there for you to fix with emails the biggest issues are a little bit of uh, features like attachments that I would like to be forwarded within and that uh, possibly you can write in a preview rather than just in the markdown for those people who are not used to writing it um, the price mark uh, for me I believe it's okay we need to learn to um, appreciate other people's work and how much time and effort it requires to develop these applications this is brief introduction and tempo email application and why I enjoy using it as an email client thank you very much for watching this video